Look between the lines of any cartoon from George Booth, and you'll find an off-kilter world filled with eccentric people and, well, unusual house pets. Faith Saley visits a one-of-a-kind cartoonist. In a third-floor apartment of a Brooklyn brownstone walk-up, funny little things come to life, like this pea-sized mutt poking its head from a barrel. The creature, one of many, is the creation of a man who can't help laughing at himself. Let's just go in and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of people and animals has become a trademark for legendary cartoonist George Booth. His style is simple and unmistakable. Pets are plentiful and often far more intelligent than their owners. What do you think it is about you that makes you able to get into the mind of cats and dogs and all sorts of different kinds of people in this world. I'm sick, I'm a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a hobby for the 91-year-old, it's work. And since 1969, his work has appeared in the New Yorker magazine. Well, they let a hillbilly slip in once in a while. <laughs> you draw for the New Yorker, but this scene is anything but a fancy New York apartment. But it, it's reality, it's human interest. It's uh, maybe the dingy side of life if you're thinking of perfection, but it's reality. Booth, who was born in Missouri in 1926, has been drawing for as long as he can remember. Mother encouraged it. It just became a part of me. He served during World War II, where, even in the Marines, he was a cut-up, and joined the Corps' Leatherneck magazine as a staff cartoonist. Booth's work, both meaningful and playful, has inspired countless artists, <laughs> like Sandra Boynton, the best-selling children's book author and illustrator. That's great. She stopped by to sketch with Booth on his stoop. Can you give me a sense of why he's legendary? He draws like no one else. He writes beautifully. Every cartoon of his is, is a theatrical work. It's, it's just perfect. And the humanity of what he does. And, and every character he does, whether it's a cat or a mechanic, has a nobility. You're kind of a Brooklyn hipster. Booth moved to Brooklyn a couple of years ago and shares the apartment with his daughter, Sarah. What is it like for you two to live together? I can't stand her. <laughs> you know, he refers to me as a dr his drill instructor because <laughs> I'm always after him to clean his studio <laughs> and stuff. Recently, George and Sarah visited the New Yorker office where he offered some submissions to cartoon editor Emma Allen. <laughs> Please do not bet the dog reprehensible content. He draws this universe that's taken on a life of its own and isn't Missouri or isn't New York or isn't the army or the garage, but is this family that you get to revisit time and again. Booth is now being celebrated in an exhibit at the Society of Illustrators in New York, a high achievement for a humble man. His observations on things are both slightly off kilter and dead on. It's, he gets to the heart of things. George, I love this one. Let's see, that's it says, uh, how much for the couch <laughs> without the potato here? <laughs> <laughs>